Hello class, my name is Kayla Jacobson. The theme of my exhibit is called Frida Kahlo, Inner Emotion Revealed Through Self-Portrait Painting. The thesis gives a brief summary of how Frida Kahlo got into painting and what type of work she did. Kahlo's pieces allow the subconscious mind to come to life while portraying an image of herself. All of this came together while she was on bed rest. Frida's paintings will create different types of emotions dependent upon what is shown. The curatorial statement goes in more depth about how Frida ended up on bed rest. On September 17, 1925, Kahlo boarded a bus going to Coyoacan when it suddenly slammed into a trolley. Kahlo's parents suggested since she would be resting a while that she start doing art. Her parents then bought an easel for her to paint on. Many of her paintings eventually consisted of her husband, Diego Rivera, who had actually been more famous than Frida. Much of their marriage was difficult, resulting in fighting, cheating, and even the abortion of their baby. The importance of Frida Kahlo's work was to influence the world that good can come from bad. She more specifically became part of the feminist movement. Some of her paintings show imagery of life as a woman growing up in her time. Frida Kahlo's art has a story for each piece to influence everyone to keep going even when life may feel too difficult. The first painting of the exhibit is called Little Deer, painted in 1946 on an 8.82 by 11.81 inch canvas made with oil paint. Little Deer is meant to show one of the surgeries she had gotten that was done improperly. She decided to use her pet deer as the subject. This depicts the sadness she had as well. This painting is just a self-portrait of Frida with her pet. Frida loved her pets as they were her children that she never had. This portrait was made in 1940 with oil on mass it, with measurements of 16 by 24 inches. This next painting is a self-portrait with her pet monkey. Many of her paintings include monkeys, not only this one. Frida painted this with oil on a canvas measuring out 32.09 by 24.80 inches. Frida painted this in remembrance of the loss of everything she loved. Frida is in the middle holding Diego in the form of the baby they lost. Above them is Senora Zolato. This is painted with oil on a canvas measuring 27.50 by 23.75 inches. This painting is a representation of how it was being a woman in the 1920s. There were many cases of men stabbing their wives and saying, just a few small nips when pleading guilty. The medium is oil on sheet metal measuring 15 by 19 inches. This slide features two paintings. The first one is called the South Hill. The medium used is oil on mass in it with measurements of 11 by 14.25 inches. The second painting is called Diego and I. Frida used oil on a canvas. She measure, measured it as 24.00 by 8.5 inches. Without hope shows when she was being forced fed in the hospital with lots of processed food. The second painting depicts her and her husband Diego as one. The last couple of paintings sum up her life with her family tree painting and the Henry Ford Hospital tree. The family tree was made in 1936 with oil and tempura on zinc, measuring 12.13 inches by 13.63 inches. The Henry Ford Hospital painting was made in 1932 with oil on sheet metal with measurements of 12.25 by 15.50. The next four slides are the walls each painting goes on. Each of these paintings are a different wall. The first one's A, the second one is E, and the third one is F. The 
this is wall B with the curatorial statement on the left. This is wall C. And this is wall D. Lastly is the aerial view, which shows the entire exhibit. The museum I chose my exhibit to go to is the Art Institute of Chicago in Illinois. The exhibit date will be November 26, 2022 through December 26, 2022. So you have a whole month to view it. Frida Kahlo says, I paint myself because I'm often alone and I am the subject, I know this. Thank you for letting me present my exhibit on Frida Kahlo, Inner Emotion Reveals Through Self-Portrait Painting.